we begin the postseason, tonight we offer you a look back at the rest of the regular season and the best of it. Mm -hmm. Larry Fergurski joins us now live from Forest Hill Central High School with the football frenzy Great Eight. Hey, Larry. Hello, ladies. Yes, the uh, Great Eight's a segment I've been doing on Sports Overtime for more than a decade now. And simply put, it's just a look at the top eight plays and or moments from a particular team, season, or really any other theme. This year, we brought you highlights of 212 high school football games. So now we offer you tonight a look at the frenzy Great Eight, beginning with, of course, number eight. Muskegon Catholic Central hosting Frankfurt. Week two, we'll show you a ton of Cameron Martinez highlights on offense. We'll you start on defense as well. How about the leaping one-handed interception by number five? The quarterback and cornerback doing it on both sides of the ball. Cameron at MCC downing Frankfurt 31 to 6. The Crusaders have won 28 of their last 29 games and begin the quest to become just the third team ever to win five straight state championships tonight. Number seven, Kellogg'sville hosting Belding. Two top teams in the silver week eight. Alex Guzman, nowhere to throw, is going to run instead. Slips one tackle in the backfield, jukes out of another. Cuts back on a third, then runs through a fourth and his own blocker before diving into the end zone. A nine-yard TD that covered about 25. Alex and the Rockets downing the Knights 27-3 en route to Kellogg'sville's first undefeated season, regular season, in eight years. Number six comes from... Well, the home team here tonight, Forest Hill Central, Rangers on the road at Greenville. Week four, Luke Majic firing deep for Kyle Bosch, who pins the ball on the back of the defender's shoulder and then somehow brings it around as he hits the ground for the score. That goes to the offense when you have a tie, and really you have to see this in slow motion to appreciate the effort. Great effort and coverage, actually, by Greenville's Ryan Burden, who had his arm in between, but somehow Bosch makes the grab. Kyle and Forest Hill Central win 42-7 en route to their first undefeated regular season in 26 years. And number five from week five, Grand Rapids Christian trailing Cedar Springs. 44-41, just 12 seconds to play in regulation at the Red Hawks 37. Isaac Dykema throws up a prayer and Anthony Ladd is there to answer it. Not quite a Hail Mary, but the same result. Dykema threw for 382 yards on the day, the final 37 giving Grand Rapids Christian a thrilling 48-44 win. First four we showed you ladies were good, but these four really live up to the name the Great Eight. So without further ado, here's a look now back at the top four plays from the high school football frenzy regular season. We begin, of course, with number four, East Grand Rapids hosting South Christian week nine. Three-year starting quarterback Mikey Malowitz with another example of why. Mikey, great juke in the backfield away from one would-be tackler. Slips free of a second, ducks under a third and fourth, spins free of a fifth, and then cuts back on a sixth and carries a seventh into the end zone. Beautiful 24-yard scamper. Malowitz using every tool in the box to show uh, his way through the Sailor defense. The Pioneers completing their first perfect regular season in seven years. Last time that happened, by the way, they won a state title. East Grand Rapids edge and South Christian. 13-7. Number three, courtesy of Grand Rapids Catholic Central. Second night of week one. CC facing Detroit Country Day. Jack Bowen going up top for Nate Trudeau, who goes up and brings it down. Great juggling grab and take another look. Three separate tips to himself, and Nate not only holds on, but gets his knee and foot in for the score. Great concentration. Nate and the Cougars knocking off 20-7, uh, knocking off fellow perennial state power, Detroit Country Day. Number two to Forest Hills Northern, week seven, Huskies facing Cedar Springs. A new version of the old hook and ladder. Xavier Webster to Ian Rampersad and the shuttle lateral to Brandon Matthews who goes the final 33 yards down the near sidelines. A 41 yard catch and carry. The quick strike to Ian drawing the defenders and Brandon says, see you later. The Huskies, however, fall to the Red Hawks, 44-21. And number one comes from our very first game of the season, Thursday afternoon of week one, Rockford facing Selena at the big house in Ann Arbor. Jason Whitaker deep down the far sidelines for Eli Haddad, who makes an incredible one-handed grab, a 59-yard TD strike and worthy of another look or two. Haddad not only the one-handed grab, but no tip, just palms the nose of the ball and goes the distance. Eli and Rockford shutting out Selene 14-7.